Hey, good morning, YouTube. Austin here, cracking the junk removal. So today we got a busy day. We got three jobs uh, just this morning. So uh, I'm gonna bring you guys along and take you with me. So let's go ahead and get over to that first job. So we just pulled up to the job and uh, this is an interesting job because if you remember from a couple videos ago I did, I came and removed like a grill and uh, some other stuff for a customer. Well, that was a repeat customer and uh, we were removing some stuff from a house that he had just sold and the new homeowners were there and they saw us, you know, removing the stuff and everything and they said, oh, we might have some more stuff for you to remove from our house that they were moving from. So they called us today, or actually a couple days ago uh, on Wednesday and asked if we could come out and they had to reschedule to... Uh, Thursday and then it moved it to Friday and then it moved it to uh, Tuesday and then well, here we are Wednesday finally able to do the job so uh, we were able to score one job from a previous repeat customer so customers are happy and uh, satisfied with crack and junk removal so we just got to the job here you can kind of see some of it behind me uh, we got this little kids playhouse ping pong table and she wanted us to take the elliptical at first but she just called and said to actually leave that so uh, we have this and then we got this pile right here uh, most of it looks like it will be donatable there might be some things in there we can't but um, uh, actually that pile no I'm sorry that pile right there is a pile they're gonna keep they just had to move it out of the garage um, it's this pile that we have to uh, get rid of we got this little broken planter little workout mat we're gonna try to donate these um, this kiddie pool I don't know he might be able to use it for something uh, I don't know what's in these black bags. I'm going to have to look. Uh, I got a bookshelf, a little smaller bookshelf. We can use that little safety cone uh, when we're working, so that will become that will be handy, actually. Uh, looks like this is mostly trash. And then uh, I got to ask about these pallets in that little sandbox. But, uh, no, when I came up, I thought we were going to have to take this pile, too. I was like, this is going to be a big job, but uh, that stuff they're actually keeping. So, uh Let's take a look at this. All right. Anyone in there? Hello? That's good. No kids in there. Not taking home any kids. I have two already. And we got news that we have another one on the way. So, um, I don't know about this ping pong table, but ping pong table looks to be in decent shape. The elliptical is in nice shape too, but these things are heavy. So, it's one less thing we have to take. But, uh, we'll throw that, probably throw these two pieces on the trailer and take care of all this junk for the customer. So we're going to go ahead and get started here in just a minute. Right, so as I was taking that little playhouse up, the neighbor came out and said he might know somebody that wants it. So as you can see right over there, there's part of the house, the kid's playhouse. So he took that for us, which saved the customer some money and it saved us some work. And he took a couple of the fencing posts that was in here. So now we're gonna go ahead and I actually might be able to use this uh, in a room at our new house that we got. So a little exercise room, but we're gonna go ahead and drag this up. We don't got the tarp, but we do have a kiddie pool. So we'll make use of that. And we got the neighbor actually to take this little kiddie pool. Um, I was gonna keep it, but it's just bulky and I got two other jobs, so I'm not going to worry about that. Did find these little mats that will come in handy, as I was saying earlier, for a little workout room. I'm going to put it in my house. We do have left this bookshelf. I wanted to see if it was in good condition. Uh, see if it's something we can donate, but as you can see, it looks like it's already starting to come apart and rot, so the backing's usually in good shape. Usually you start to see it peel but the inside's decent just that bottom part so I don't know what we'll do with this Let's see um, it's coming apart down here oh yeah I think we will have to junk this so I mean I'm sure it could still be used but it's starting to come loose and come apart down here and just give it some time before you know what this thing would be once you put books and stuff on it, it'll be falling apart. So, yep, it's starting to already come apart. We'll just go ahead and jump this. 
Well, here's what we got so far. Bookcase, sandbox, a little small bookshelf. We got all the other junk. And then over here, we got this stuff loaded up. We got the ping pong table. Uh, we got some wooden pallets, all strapped down, ready to go. Another happy customer served by Kraken Chunk Removal. Wait, there's more. All right, the customer uh, that we just helped out did call us and asked her to come to her house that she's moving into, because that was the house she was moving out of. And she said she has some more stuff here to pick up. So we're gonna pick up this little table, these chairs, drop these off at donation. And that will be it. So still got plenty of space in here. All right, we just finished up our first job for the morning. Uh, we had to make a quick pit stop, get some gas, get a drink, it's hot out, the sun's starting to come up. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, pick up a refrigerator for a customer. She said it's curbside, it's already uh, outside. So I asked her if it worked or not. She said it wasn't too sure. So it might be something that uh, we can repair, something we can salvage and uh, pass on to somebody in need. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to that job here. The refrigerator all loaded up. So we just pulled up to our third job of the day. We got these little moving crates. You got one, two, three, four. Uh, and it looks like there's some pallets, I think, underneath. So we're gonna have to break these apart, but you can see it. It's pretty flimsy, so it shouldn't be too bad. We're gonna keep one, throw everything in it. So we're gonna break down these three, throw all the wood in it, and then strap it down uh, to the trailer and load it up. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We got Daniel knocking down the walls on these boxes. We got one down already. We got this one loaded up, which we're gonna use to store, as I was saying earlier. That one's too large, so we gotta break this one up before we put it in there. And this. Kick. I feel like WWE style, right? Just busting through those little doors they have. All right, got it all knocked down. And so now we just gotta load it up. All right, we broke down all the boxes, all the crates for the most part. We got it all loaded up in here. Uh, we just got these bottom pieces and these larger pieces here. So we figure we'll just take these pieces and then just kind of throw them on top uh, that way we don't have to waste our time breaking it down so yeah, it's been here about 20 minutes so not too bad but at least it was yeah. curbside and convenient for us to, to pick it up right, we got a little bit of a hike up this driveway there's some more items it looks like up there so you can see there yeah. all right so we got some more stuff to take We got some furniture, it looks like, filing cabinets, some bag trash, and it looks like an old weed eater, 22 inch Excalibur steel MM55. But uh, we'll go ahead and get this all done. Get this loaded up. Don't you love when you go to a job and you find some goodies? So we got this box here. I don't know. It says, uh, this box says Mr. Toad's Stereo Video. I don't know what's in there, but go ahead and take that top off. Let's see. Let's see what's in there. I guess the customer doesn't want it. Let's see what it is. Oh, what is this? What is this? I don't know. I don't know, but maybe we hit the jackpot with something here. So, no, we're not, definitely not going to throw it away, but we will call the customer to ask to double check to make sure. What is it? I don't know what it is. You know, it's with you. Well, you had to turn it around to read it. You get it upside down. Installation instructions. I don't know where it is. HD, right there. It says it. HD project mount support. Okay. Or projector HD. 
and then pronounce that bottom one. H G. Oh, for Halter Yes. What? That's <laughs> German. Looks like it. So we'll have to find out about that. But um, we got this little pile here to take care of. We got some filing cabinets. We got some trash here. I don't know what this is in there, but looks like just junk. We got some fluorescent bulbs we'll have to dispose of separately. And uh, or leave those for the customer. But let's go ahead and see what else we got. We the steel MM55. Yeah, it's a projector. I right, can see if this works or not. 